guys welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in my last video we drafted out a pattern for this bustier dress with yoke in case you've not seen the pattern drafting tutorial i'm going to leave the link in the comment section so go ahead and watch it before you come join us on this particular one it's going to help you understand better so i went ahead to place my pattern paper on my fabric and i'm going to cut and i'll be adding half an inch allowance all the way around the fabric the only place i'm not going to add half an inch is the armhole area on the side because i already have my stitching allowance on the side after cutting this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and use this fabric to cut on my lining and on my sd so these are my front piece i have the yoke the center front and the side front i'm going to open it up for you guys to see and we'll start with the yoke for the yoke i went ahead to cut it out and i added half an inch on the neckline area on the base and on the shoulder area and the yoke is on fold the center front is on fold so i'm going to open it up i have two pieces one is going to serve as the lining and the other is uh, the other one will be the main piece this is my center front it's also on fold and i added half an inch all the way around even on the base i added half an inch for stitching allowance so once i open it up this is what i have i went ahead to cut my um lining piece exactly as the main fabric and i also went ahead to cut out my s day this is my side front i added allowance all the way around except the arm o and the side and this is what i have it's not on fold i have two main piece for this and i have two lining piece i also went ahead to cut out my sd exactly as the main fabric so i'm going to arrange the two side front and my center front like this i'm going to pad my posterior with my wording this is a soft wording so i'm going to fold it into two like this and i'm going to place the center front on it and i'll cut so when cutting make sure you leave at least half an inch allowance on the neck area so just pay close attention you understand what i'm doing so because i'll be joining the main piece and the lining piece together on the neckline area i went ahead to fold in half an inch on the neckline area and i'll trim out the sides and this cup stopped at my under bust line so i didn't extend it to the half length as you can see so i'll cover it up with my wording the shiny part of my wording sorry my s day and i'll go ahead and iron it flat so for the side front my wording is also folded into two i'm going to place it like this i'll make sure it stops at the under bust line i'll fold in about half an inch from the neckline and i'm going to go ahead and cut like this after cutting i'll split it into two one for the left and one for the right i'm going to place it and make sure it stops at my under bust and i'll cover it up with my sd i'll go ahead and iron i'm going to also pin the other one to the other side okay so make sure you're pinning your wording to the right wrong side sorry the wrong side of your fabric i'll cover it up with my sd and i'll go ahead and iron it so by the time i'm done ironing it's going to stick to my fabric so these are the back piece i have the yoke and um the main piece so i went ahead to cut out my yoke and i have four pieces of this okay so two will be for the main piece and two will be for the lining and this is how it's going to look like by the time i'm done joining i'm going to pin all the way around i'll sew the neckline close and i'll also sew the back area close i'll be leaving the arm o the neckline area and the base so for this part i already went ahead to notch out to notch 
my zipper allowance and i also notch the bit because everything looks the same and i don't want to get confused so i have two main pieces and two lining piece i'm going to open them up like this i also went ahead to cut out my hair stay exactly as the fabric so i'm going to place the hair stay on the wrong side of the fabric and i'm going to go ahead and iron it in place So guys, I've gone ahead to iron the wording and the SD on the fabric and this is what it looks like. You can see the half an inch that I left on the neckline area to enable me sew my lining and the main piece. So I'm going to go ahead and place them like this right side facing right side and I'm going to use the half an inch that I left as my stitching allowance to sew all the way. Okay, I'll sew with half an inch and for the lining piece also, I've gone ahead to iron my sd to them also so i'm going to also place them the same way that i did for the main fabric i'm going to place them right sides on each other and i'm going to sew using half an inch i'm gonna have to sew and i went ahead to iron the seam open just so everything stays flat this is what i have you can see how the cup is standing okay so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing for the lining piece and then I'll go ahead and sew my yoke like I mentioned earlier I'll be sewing just the neckline of the yoke and this is my lining piece I've gone ahead to sew it in place I also went tight to iron the seam open and this is my yoke I went tight to turn the neckline okay so I'm going to place this yoke on the main fabric I left the sides and the shoulder area okay so i'll bring back my front piece and i'm going to pin the yoke on it before i do that to make it easy for me i'm going to notch about half an inch okay i'll notch half an inch on the center of the yoke and i'll notch half an inch on the center of my main fabric this is to enable the yoke sit well and it will make it easy for me to also stitch them together so once i notch i'm going to place the yoke on the main fabric and i'm going to pin so i'll pin one after the other i'll pin this side first i'll go ahead and sew once this side is sitting well i'll go ahead and pin the other side and i'll sew so after pinning i'll go ahead and stitch this down first of all and this is what it's going to look like on the outside so i've gone ahead to stitch one side and this is what it looks like i'm going to now fold the other side and i'm going to pin all the way after pinning you can see the notch it's going to make everything easy for you so i'm going to pin all the way and i'll go ahead and sew I've gone ahead to sew the yoke in place and this is what it looks like on the inside so what I'm going to do is to sew my lining piece in place but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and open it up like this as you can see and I'm going to bring my lining piece I'm going to place it on the right side of my fabric just like you see me doing I'll pin the center and then I'm going to go ahead and sew so just like we did for the yoke sew one side make sure it's sitting flat and then go ahead and sew the other side after sewing the lining in place this is what I have what I'm going to do is to trim out this excess fabric and then I'll notch all the way around after notching I'm going to turn it inside out for you guys to see what it looks like on the outside so this is what it looks like on the outside you can see how flat my yoke is sitting so next thing i'm going to do is to close up um the front piece so i'm going to turn it to the right side the wrong side sorry i'll make sure the right side is facing the right side just like you see me doing and i'm just going to sew the two sides i'm going to leave the armhole area open i'll just sew these two sides using half an inch okay after sewing i'll turn it to the right side and i'll go ahead and give it a good press after doing that this is what i have guys 
so we are done with the front upper bodies we are going to move to the back so for the back i've gone ahead to iron my s day on the wrong side and i also went ahead to stitch my yoke on the neckline and on the back like i mentioned earlier i left the arm o and the shoulder area open so you are going to mark where you're supposed to place your yoke because while we're drafting i took out my own yoke from the chest line so i went ahead to place my yoke and i'm going to cover the yoke up with my lining just like you see me doing and then i'm going to pin down after pinning i'll go ahead and sew and turn it to the right side so i sewed all the parts except the base which i used to turn everything inside out this is what it looks like on the inside you can see that everything is all flat and neat the next thing i'll do is to take my dart i'll first of all take out the zipper allowance which is one inch on the waist area because i removed um half an inch and i'm going to go in by half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is 4 inches and I'll go up by 4.5 inches which is how long I want the dart for the back to be on that straight line I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides and I'll connect like this after connecting I'll repeat the same thing for the other parts of the back piece and then I'll go ahead and take my dart for the skirt part I went ahead to turn my skirt with my lining okay and i went ahead to just use this lace fabric to cover part of the front okay sorry i could not do this on camera so you can do any style that you want i just went ahead to use the lace to cover the main fabric up that's what i did and i turned it with my lining i also went ahead to take in my dart on the waistline so this is what i have for the front what i'll do is to now join the upper bodies and the lower bodies together so I'm going to fold the skirt into two equal halves and I'm going to mark the center. I also fold the half length into two equal halves and I'll mark the center. After doing that, I'm going to place them right sides facing right sides and I'll pin all the way around. After pinning, I'm going to sew using the half an inch allowance that I left while I was cutting on my main fabric. so guys these are the back piece for the skirt part i went ahead to also turn it with my lining and i went ahead to take in my dart what i'm going to do is to join the upper bodies and the lower bodies together so i repeat the same thing that i did for the front i'm going to go ahead and pin them right sides facing right sides and i'm going to sew using my half an inch stitching allowance for both sides after sewing the back piece in place this is what i have i left my zipper allowance open so what i'm going to do now is to fix my zipper after sewing the zipper in place this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the front piece and i'm going to place them right sides facing right sides and I'm going to sew the shoulders in place. So I'll place the shoulders like this, lining facing lining and main fabric facing main fabric. And I'm going to sew. After sewing, I'll repeat the same thing for the other shoulder area. And this is the fabric I'll be using for the sleeves. The length of my sleeves is about 24 inches. So what I'll do is to come out by three inches like this. And I'll go down on this end, which is the open end. I'll go down by about 5 or 6 inches. After doing that, I'm going to connect from the 3 inches in a curve like this. And then I'm going to measure if what I have is enough for my round arm or circumference. And this is more than enough. So what I'm going to do is to take my round sleeve circumference divided by 2. And I'll add my stitching allowance. Okay. 
on the um, base of the sleeves i will place my round wrist circumference divided by two the round wrist circumference i'm working with is 7.5 inches i'll divide it by two i'll place it there and then i'm going to add two inches one inch is for stitching allowance and one inch is going to be the allowance inside the sleeve so i added two inches to that measurement i'm going to go ahead and connect like this after connecting i'll go ahead and cut So guys, I'm done cutting and this is what I have. I have the two sleeves. I went ahead to notch the center. So I'm going to open the armhole area of my dress and I'm going to place the sleeves. I'm going to place the notched area of the sleeves to the shoulder area and I'll pin all the way around. After pinning, I'll go ahead and sew. I've gone ahead to sew my sleeves in place and this is what I have. So what I'm going to do now is to shape my dress. So on this bust line, I'm going to place my bust circumference divided by two and I'll place it. On the waistline, I'm going to place my waist circumference divided by two and I'll connect from the bust to meet the waist. On the hip line, to know my hip line, I'll go down by 10 inches just like I did before while I was drafting. On the hip line, I'll place my hip circumference divided by two. I'll also place it and I'll connect from the waist to meet the hip. And from the hip, I'll connect to meet the base of the skirt and I'll go ahead and sew. So after shaping it, I'm going to sew on the lines. And the last thing I'll do is to cut out the other parts of the sleeves. To do that, this is the fabric that I have left. So I went ahead to just cut out a straight fabric like this. The length of this fabric is 4 inches, which is not that big, but this is the only fabric I have left. And the wideness of this fabric is 18.5 inches. I'll be using the 5 inches to join the sleeves on the side. I went ahead to iron my add stay on it to give it structure. So what I'll do is to cut out a lining piece that I'll use to cover it up. I'm going to place the lining on the right side of the fabric and I'm going to sew on the up, the base and one side. I'll leave one side open i'm going to use the side that i left open to turn it inside out after doing that guys this is what i have so i didn't sew one side i used the side i did not sew to turn it inside out so this is what i have so you are going to just close the sleeves up and you can decide to pleat it if your sleeve is wide enough pleat the two sides hold it down before you close the sleeve just to give it a little bit of style but my sleeve is not wide enough so i'll not be able to pleat it like this so i'm just going to go ahead and close the end of the sleeves i'll close it together and then i'm going to stitch it to the arm or area of my dress and yeah that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next one